हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक सो वी डिस्कस्ड थ्री डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटिंग ए फुल एडर एंड वी कंपेयर्ड ऑल ऑफ देम एंड नाउ लेट इस टॉक अबाउट द एडिशन विद मोर नंबर ऑफ बिट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए फोर बिट रिपल कैरी एडर डिजाइन इन दिस वीडियो सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट व्हाट इज फोर बिट एडर एंड हाउ डू वी डिजाइन इट व्हाट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एडिंग these two four bit numbers and how do we design our ripple carry adder for four bits so let us get started so four bit ripple carry adder we will have two numbers a and b and both of them are having the lengths four bit a is also a four bit number and b is also a four bit number when we add two four bit numbers we are going to generate a sum which is also having a length 4 bit and we can generate a carry out which will be of 1 bit so the total sum can be considered as the combination of c out and sum 1 bit of c out and 4 bit of sum it's a general rule whenever you add two n bit numbers you are going to get a maximum of n plus 1 bits n bits will be for sum and 1 bit for c out so that will be universal for any bit adder now let us design it using the conventional way that we have learned so i have four bits of a a3 a2 a1 a0 i have four bits of b B three, B two, B one, B zero. So total eight bits. So now, when we consider these eight inputs, they are going to generate two raised to power eight. That means two fifty six different input cases. The truth table is going to be extremely large and we will not be able to solve it so how do we obtain the expressions and the logic diagram using this method that means we have a serious problem and using the conventional method we cannot solve it so then what we do we go back to the primary level where we had learned the addition when we were asked to add decimal numbers then what was the approach that we had taken so let us take this example we are asked that we have to add these two numbers one is 5 which is 0101 and one is 7 which is 0111 so how do we add these two numbers so when i add 1 with 1 i get 2 in the binary 2 will be written as 1 0 that means 0 will come here and 1 will be the carry to the next higher bit now i am going to add this so 1 plus 0 plus 1 which is again 2 so i am going to write 0 here and 1 will be carry here now i am going to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 i get 3 so 3 means 1 1 so 1 is here and 1 is here so 1 plus 0 plus 0 and i get 1 so finally i get this number and which is equal to 12 so this is how we add we are not adding four bits at a time we are adding one bit at a time so when we look at this example we observe that we are not adding four bits of a with four bits of b but we are processing only one place at a time we do not add more than three input at any given time one is a one is b one is c in so if we don't need all of these complications then we get reminded that we already have a circuit for that and that is full adder which can perform the addition of three numbers 
so what we are going to do we are going to attach four full adders to make a four bit adder so how to do that so we take one full adder which is having a and b as input c in is also an input and it is going to generate sum and c out now we will attach the least significant bit of a and b and input carry will be zero so this is going to give us the least significant bit of sum that is s0 and one carry which will go to the next stage here we attach the next full adder where the inputs are the next bits of a and b a1 and b1 so this is going to generate the next bit of sum and another carry c2 and then we attach another full adder where the inputs are next bits of a and b a2 b2 and along with this input carry we are going to calculate the next bit of sum and another carry and then we attach the last full adder where we have the most significant bit of a and b along with this input carry we are going to generate the most significant bit of the sum and the final carry out so this is how we will design our four bit adder now there might be a question in your mind why do we call it ripple carry adder why not only a four bit adder here the carry is going like a ripple effect from one stage to other stage and that is the reason it is called ripple carry adder there are various other adder designs this is one of them called ripple carry adder so now we know the design we can understand that this can be implemented only using the module instantiation technique so let us go to vivado and implement it so now we are going to add a new source a design source and we call it ripple carry adder or rpa underscore four bit whatever is more convenient for you to remember and understand and we say finish here so now we are going to say i have one input which is a and it is a four bit input okay so click on the bus and msb is three lsb is zero so three down to zero total four bits similarly b is also a bus and here you will mention three c is my input which is single bit then sum is my output which is also four bit okay so click on the bus here and say three and then click on this add add more ports go down from here and we will define c out also which is a single bit output here okay and then we click on okay so now it is going to generate the ripple carry adder file and we can see that in our design sources so here we have we double click it to open and now you can see we have these right so what do we need we need some extra signals so we are going to define wire if you remember we had c1 c2 and c3 which were additional carry out between the full adders so now we are going to do the module instantiation you can choose any full adder whichever you want i have three full adder using gate level full adder using if else full adder using case statement in all three of them i had used the same order of inputs and outputs okay so whichever you want let me take full adder underscore gate okay so how do we instantiate a module full adder underscore gate 
and we call it like d0 and then we are going to mention either by the order or by the name that is completely up to you whichever method you want to adopt so here we have something very important now i have the order a b c sum and c out so a of my full adder will go to the least significant bit of input a of 4 bit adder how do i access the least significant bit of my input a from a 4 bit vector how do i access only one bit that is done using the square brackets so here i am going to mention a of 0 okay that means i am not using the naming rule here i am simply going by the order list so from this a the zeroth index okay that is first then b of 0 then c is going to c then sum of 0 and then c out is going to the wire c1 so this is how i instantiated the first one now i am going to copy this four times and i will instantiate the others please remember you have to change these if you forget this it will give you error so in the second full adder a1 b1 these are the inputs and c1 which is carry out of my first full adder is going to be the input carry here and output carry is going to be c2 and sum is going to be sum1 coming to the third one the inputs will be a2 and b2 input carry will be c2 sum will be sum of 2 and output carry will be c3 coming to the last full adder the inputs are a3 b3 the input carry is c3 output of sum is sum of 3 and final carry out is c out so that's it and we press the save button when we save it we are going to see that we have the ripple carry adder here and under this ripple carry four full adder using gate level are mentioned we have to make this as our top level module in the design source as well as in the simulation source okay so here we have the simulation sources here also we will make it as the top level module once this is done let us check that what is the schematic that is generated the schematic is ready now and you can see that a3 to 0 and b3 to 0 these are the inputs they are first going to first adder and c out of this is going here to the second adder c out of this one is going to the third adder and c out of this one is going to the fourth adder and c out of this is the final c out and sum is being obtained from each stage and finally here we have the sum these are the four bits of sum so this is how we implement a 4 bit ripple carry adder using four different full adders so students now we have seen that how do we implement a 4 bit adder using four different full adders but we should also know that how much power or area my design is consuming in the next video we'll talk about that keep learning thank you